Check this out. My new setup secure lock here on my lawnmower. This is U-Haul, one of those good locks. And here what I did to make things really simple and easy for storing and securing your yard equipment. Now here I got uh, my hedger, Troy built. Got a Craftsman Moore, 22 inch cut bag bagger. And I got also a 21 inch over here, Craftsman. That's the first one I own right there. I used to cut this yard with it. It's a good <clears throat> machine. And it sat out there for about six years and I decided to go back and fix them all up. So I got both of them back fixed up and running, so I use them for my little yard care now. You can see right here, this is a secure area for my trailer. On my trailer, I got these little U, they call eye bolts. Got them from a hardware store, you can get them all different sizes. This one is pretty good, I got this chain as well. Cost me about $31 to get everything I need to secure my lawnmower when I'm not around, when I'm in the back of the yard or something cutting. I can have um, have this secured. It, it's not something that you can uh, stop people from stealing, but it's something that's a deterrent. You know, if somebody think the thing's a little difficult on getting, getting, they will take the time and say, well, maybe it ain't worth it and go on about their business. But this is what I come up with right here. And here, this is a, this trailer right here that I haul this stuff around on. It's a five, it's a five by two. 10 is one of those Lowe's type deal. I bought it from Augusta, Georgia. I paid $500 for this trailer. Brand new. The only thing was wrong with it, the wood was staying a little bit. As you can see, over the last five or six years, the wood had rotten there. I'm going to put another piece in there. But anyway, and this is my Explorer, what I hauls it around with. A nice little car. Good. I keep all my other tools like edges, trimmers and stuff inside there. I got a bagger for my rider. I got all the equipment of, of that in, in the back of this Explorer right here. But anyway, I'm going to go around here. Right here, you can see I got a little, little, well, you can say a little helper right there. What it do if my lawnmower break down, I can winch it in with this setup right here. I think I paid $35 or $40 from Harford Freight for that. It's a handy little thing. And also right here I got a weed holder for my weed eater. I got two things I'm going to put on here. I didn't want to buy two. And right here I got my Troy built weed eater. I'm going to get some attachment for that so that I can um, be able to attach to that. I can keep that in the car. And I don't need but two of these uh, holders right here. One for my my hedger, stick hedger, what they call it, and, and also for my uh, my extended hedges as well, the, the one that you can move around and so forth. So I'm, a pri I'm proud of this. I'm getting the trailer here ready for next se cutting season. Right now it's October. It's almost the end of October, the 19th of October, 2016. And you can see that's I'm getting all my equipment ready for the next cutting season. I did a yard yesterday, and it whipped me to death with a lot of leaves and everything on it, but that's part of doing it. It's something I want to do now. I'm trying to help the senior citizen out because I'm a senior citizen. And I decided to go in this to help them out and at the same time help myself with a few extra dollars because the cost of living just keep going up, going up, going up, going up. So you don't have enough, never have enough money. But anyway, this is my setup right here. I just bought a spare tire for this. And that's one thing about going in business, you got to get prepared. I bought a spare tire. I got a new one. I paid $99 for that at Walmart. Just like that. I'm going I'm to put it, I think I'm going to mount it on the side here. I got it in the back of the my truck right now in the back back there probably be the best place to keep it anywhere keep it from somebody stealing it 
because people steal. But anyway, this trailer has been a good little trailer. It haul all my stuff around, my rider. And then we're going to get over here, and we're going to go over here to my... I get a chance to look at this a little better. It's an Explorer, 1997 Explorer. Nice little car. Got a V8 in it for pulling that trailer right there. Now, this is... This is my ride mower here. This is a Craftsman, and this is what I use to cut grass with. This is a 46 inch cut. See right there, 46 inch cut. And it do real good. I just got through cutting. It's a 3000 series. I think I bought it in 2010. And, and I, what I did is I went and got me an hour and a tack arm and a meter right here. You can see right here. Right on there, that tell me what my RPM running. I run about 1600, between 16 and 1700 RPM when I'm cutting. And when it's island, it warms up to about, about 900 RPM. So that's real good for this. But it's a Craftsman, it's been real good. It's a 21 horse. I like it because it's a 21 horse. It's a Briggs and Scratton, 21 horse. I don't want horse. When I was going to get this, I asked the guy, I said, uh, I'm trying to cut me some yard. What I need, he said, if you get a tw anything over 20 horse, you're good to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get started with this. And then in about in about a uh, year or so, I'm going to go ahead and get a zero turn. I'm going to get along with it. That's what everybody riding now. This is all about a two and a half gallons of fuel. And... Um, a nice little more cut automatic transmission. I just put a new belt on now. Let me let you see it. It's a new belt. And I got a good deal on that belt. So Lowe's with that same belt right there for $40. I got that book for $11 on YouTube from a company out of Atlanta, Georgia. Matter of fact, I ordered Monday and I got it today. And I bought a two of them, so I got an extra now. These And it's a better belt. It's American made, and it's and it look a lot better, and it's it fits if you look at it up under there. It really goes up under that island pool.